Howdy. I'm in Meridian, Alabama. Um, not much going on down here, um, storm-wise. I'm actually going to go down. I was going to take 20 across to Atlanta, but I'm going to go south Montgomery down uh, and catch 75 northern Florida. I'll actually be going across behind the storm and below and behind the storm so as it's going this way i'm going this way so that's going to work out good i didn't see a lot of storm damage though from the last hurricane a lot of trees down um uh along the highway just trees just laying there i guess at some point they'll cut them down they're not sitting out on the highway uh step deck two uh two sets of eight frames on step deck not a heavy load um i can actually slide the axle on that might very well uh total weight 72 520 um glass weight uh glass weight's 41 970 um so i'll take that um it's it's the truck's got 8.1 mile to gallon with this load on it so it's, it's done pretty good uh got 11 stosis of glass if you want to know what a stos is a I have a video I think that shows what a stose is. The only place you'll ever find the word stose, S-T-O-C-E, is in glass. Are you going to cooperate? There we go. Jeez, oh, Pete. Don't ever ask me to be a center photographer. It ain't going to happen. Uh, what do I got on here? All 108, 144s. Uh, gray glass. What's the thickness? Six millimeter. 11 stosis of it. Uh, 14,256 square feetage. Okay. 19,037 kilograms, if y'all care. Uh, I'll show you the load real quick. I'll show you what a step deck is. I'm tired. I got up at 4 this morning. Uh, it's 3.36. I'm shut down. I'm done for the day. Here's a cool old bus. Probably used to be maybe a maybe a Greyhound or something. But here's the A-frame setup on the step deck. Um, this is stop locks in place. You like to try to come back here with a little bit of an angle, but if I can't get it on the frame rail, uh, you can see where this is pulled out because people have reefed back on this piece of wood. If I cannot get an angle on it, I just pull it down really hard, really, really hard, and dig the chain into the wood. Um, if the glass slides, eventually everybody will tighten up, and if the glass slides, you're in trouble because you've probably hit something pretty hard. Uh, once again, no rope on the tarp, so bungees. Um, that's the first set. Here's the second set of A-frames. Um, once again, pull it down real hard because I can't get a good angle on this block um, it all depends on how I mean it's only a couple inches if they move the block forward a couple inches I could get a nice number one right here and come off this at an angle um, probably could have done a number two hookup what they call a number two hookup here and got an angle but you know uh, you can see I'm not the only one been biting down into that wood and if you bite really hard it ain't moving um, I'm light enough I could slide the axle uh, makes turning and backing and moving around a lot easier. Uh, but there's the loads. Looks like we're maybe getting a little bit of light rains coming in. But all in all, it's it's road good. Um, trailer's done good, so pulled in here to run the APU all night which is what I do every night and uh, I throw the hood up on the tractor when I park oh, climb back in here the APU I got a bank of um, actually it's an EPU electric power unit uh, the APU is engine driven but it's all the same um, underneath I got a big bank of batteries and I could run the heat or the air conditioning uh, in the bunk I run the AC 12 hours not a problem it'll run it uh, and I can opt the idle um, 
I set the opt idle, batteries get low, engine will start up, charge your batteries, shut back off. Uh, but I leave the hood up. And that way I got me a jug of washer fluid there. I leave the hood up so when I park, the heat will roll out. I'll idle the engine with the hood up, air conditioner on, that way the front fan stays running. I'll watch my oil temperature climb down. And uh, I'll let it cool off that way. And it doesn't work my air conditioning system near as hard. So if you're not getting a lot of hours out of your air conditioning system, try that. You know, in the summertime when it's hot, open your hood, let that heat out. It just boils out of there. You know, it, it's all uh, closed up for aerodynamic purposes and it holds a lot of heat. But uh, off to uh, Florida tomorrow. Um, going just outside Miami, Medley, Florida. Um, for a Saturday delivery from there, probably Laurenburg, North Carolina. I won't make the Laurenburg in one day, not with an offload. Um, it's uh, damn near 11 hours up there, so um, I'll be stopping. I'll be stopping up that way somewhere, and uh, it's probably where I'm headed is uh, is Laurenburg. It would surprise me if they sent me back to Burke Burnett, but uh, you just never know. You don't know where the glass is going, you know, where the demand is. A lot of these routes, are, I, I'm told, are set two weeks out, so uh, we'll see you on a bit. Give you some more information on what's going on right now. Everything's good. Uh, truck road good. I'm tired, uh, and I'm done. I'm going to grab some food out of my refrigerator, uh, drink some more water, and... Uh, Try to get a shower. All right. Later. Howdy. Lee, Florida is where I'm at. Uh, loves truck stop. Been watching this bright pink tractor over there. Uh, let's see. That bright pink tractor. And there's there's a girl in there and she has probably pulled forward and backwards about six eight times to get it in there and I'm not knocking her because she's a girl there's some really damn good female drivers out here uh, you know this this job can be done by a good trained monkey I think except they're not tall enough to reach the top of the glass so I have an advantage <laughs> but uh yeah, I, and I was at another uh, truck stop earlier. I stopped and got fuel. I don't know. Was, man, that was way up in like Jackson, Mississippi. And um, there's a trainer truck. This girl could not put this truck in this slot. And and I'm I'm just thinking to myself, what kind of CD, CDL school did they go through? You know, because um, I'd like to see them on one of these spread axles like I got. Anyhow, I, I said I had a step deck. In a previous video, uh, I thought I did. No, I have a, I mean a double drop. Jeez, I'm tired, been all day. I said I had a double drop in an earlier video. I actually have a step deck, and I showed pictures of that, or I had pictures and video of that. But anyhow, I got about uh, six hours tomorrow, and they've already put a dead head on me to uh, Lorenburg, North Carolina. So I can show you that place. I've also got the um, a video of. Uh, the Churchill lot, uh, the Churchill Maverick Yard. So I'll get some. Um, uh, I'll get some video of the Lorenberg uh, Yard, and uh, and I'll may, I might just put the Churchill Yard by, right behind it. The problem I'm having is it's still just storage. I'm afraid to pull my chip out now. I, I'm I'm gun shy. You know, there's a big blue large car next to us right there. Um. Yeah, I'm gun shy now, pulling them chips out, losing them. So, I think I was twenty nine dollars for that chip. Um, but I actually pulled the video, tried to pull the videos up on the go on the um, uh, iPad, and man, it just takes forever for them to load. I mean, whew, I might see a birthday or two, and they finally load. Um, but we'll work on that. That's it's neither here nor there. But anyhow, everything's gone good. Uh, the trip was good till I hit Montgomery. I believe it was Montgomery, Montgomery and Dotham. There's a loop around Dotham. It looks like a loop. It's just a a four lane divide that goes through. It's still going through town and yeah, stoplights and restaurants. And I mean, it just took forever. 
and of course, as luck would have it, I-10 is completely open across there now, across the south, all the way through uh, Mobile, open where it was closed in Tallahassee. It's all opening up behind me, but I checked the miles. It's actually not a lot of difference in miles. It's just a lot more in time, um, and that's the bad part. You know, I I, I have an open delivery for for uh, tomorrow. I won't be late. I've never been late for a delivery, so I'm not too worried about that. It's just you know, the, the you just sit longer in this seat, and and uh, it's like sitting in a lawn chair. I mean, I have adjusted everything on it. It's horrible. It just beats you like a burrow mule. But I'm gonna try to move my fifth wheel too, because I noticed that when I picked this truck up, it was um, one notch back from center. I'm gonna move it to center because I'm. Uh, I'm not close to going overweight on my steer, so that's not even a problem, but uh, I'm going to try to see if they'll let me uh, video some unloading tomorrow. Um, um, I can unload, I can video the tarp, untarping, uh, what it takes to get, you know, to that point. If they won't let me videotape in their building, I'm good with that. I, I'm, shy, I'm shy about even trying to videotape in the building. You know, somebody starts screaming, man, look at the OSHA violations or something like, it's just you know but anyhow I'll ask him I can video uh, a load coming off um, and if they say no I'm good with that you know I some places they just say no cameras you know same as when I go through uh, you know a toll booth uh, not a toll booth but the um, border crossings and stuff you know no cameras and I, and I get that you know I, I understand that so uh, loads rode good a mileage was good till I got to Montgomery. I rolled right through Jackson. Um, once I hit Montgomery, then I rolled down to Dotham. Yeah, I lost uh, half a mile a gallon. I, I, uh, yeah, I lost about a half a mile a gallon. So I'm down in the seven, seven to seven nine range. I need to be a seven nine or better for it to pay off on my pay for performance. If anybody wants to know how that works, I would be glad to show you. Um, as soon as I clean up my truck. I'll give you a tour of the inside of this thing. Um, but um, that's all I got for now. I'll, uh, I'll see you down in Medley, Florida. Down here in Florida, hot. I got overheated a little bit. Uh, some broke glass. Um, Another reason why I just keep saying that flat bedding glass is about as smart as putting square wheels on vehicles. Uh, the glass broke, so they couldn't lift it off, so they just threw it off the trailer. Well, 50% of it ends up on the trailer, and then they just walk away. So, you know, I, like I said, I don't have any agenda on this channel. I got nothing to sell. <clears throat> They're really overheated. Um, really overheated uh, I think I'm in my fourth or fifth bottle of water I'm gonna pull over here and park and uh, recuperate um, headed to Lauren Park but let me show you uh, sometimes what you get stuck with uh, you go to places they really care um, they help the drivers out you know other places <laughs> you just a dumbass driver you get my hard hat on here and this appears to be One of those places where you're just a dumbass driver. They just throw the crap everywhere. Just throw it everywhere. And then when they break the glass off, all this glass in these channels, I got to get out. So that's why I say it's just stupid flatbed and glass. See this? I got to clean all that up. That's a DOT violation for me to run down the road with that. And uh, I'll show you what was on the trail. That's what was on the trailer I had to shove off. 
and that. So, we're gonna roll over here and recuperate a while. Get back over the dumpster and get rid of all this garbage. Uh, drink a lot more water. And uh, I guess we'll see where we end up from there. Well, not everything that went wrong could go wrong today, um, but that's okay. Um, I got up this morning, went to grab my toothbrush out, and my body wash that came open in my toiletries bag uh, and there's about a quarter inch of it at the bottom it's just on everything so I thought you know when I get to the shower I'll just wash every bit of it and clean it all off and clean it all up and all that stuff uh, rolled out from my delivery finally got that mess cleaned up um, got ready to roll out I have a warning on my truck that my hood is up my hood is clearly not up so there's a tilt switch in there but luckily it's not like the 16 the 16 when the hood switch was up I mean it may not up the item with the hood switch the way it is I don't know I'll we'll find out I may not even need it up the item um, so I rolled over the pilot flying J got fuel they don't have any showers only buy fuel that loves them pilot flying J um, so I was going to go drive up to the next loves that it's well over two hours away. I didn't have time to get there. So I'm going to try to do some type of a cleanup here with some baby wipes and crap like that. And I'm not going to get a shower till I get to Lorenberg. How nice is that, huh? Hundred some damn degrees outside. And you can't go get a shower anywhere um, unless you want to pay for it they're uh, 10 15 bucks um, if you pay for it believe me it, it was worth it but um, this general area with me being out of time there was just nothing here uh, I'm at a travel plaza some of the travel plazas I believe across Ohio they got you can get a shower there you can you can buy a shower there it's five bucks or something I don't know but uh, yeah I'm gonna clean up best I can um, we got baby wipes and things here in the truck. Um, been hydrating and uh, ate some food. I feel a lot better. Man, I was. Whew, it was so damn hot. They can have that. They can have. It's neat. I mean, I sell some cool birds and and I never did see an alligator. Um, but I did find out that everybody in Florida, no matter how fast they're driving, can use any lane they want. So if you're doing like 30. It's okay to be in the middle lane or the fast lane or whatever. But anyhow, um, I'm not going to make it to Lorenberg tomorrow either. Uh, it's like almost 12 hours up there. I get 11 hour clock. I'm going to drive as much as I feel like driving. I'm definitely going to stop at a pilot tomorrow and get a shower. I don't care what. Uh, i got to get the hood switch fixed on the tractor. And I found some cracks on the A-frames of the um, um, the glass trailer I had, the single drop step deck. So I'll have them look at them. Other than that, it was a good trailer. Um, yeah, it left me a hell of a mess. I got some pictures. If I can get the pictures uploaded, if I can figure that out, um, I'll upload the pictures. Same as some road footage. The problem is I need to cover up the music and whatever I got playing in the background or YouTube will just block it. So, uh Thanks for tuning in, watching along. I'm beat. I'm going to uh, clean up best I can and go to sleep.